IndieBudgetMovieMaker.com, where we're going to show you how you can make your own short film or videos without spending a lot of money. Hey everyone, my name is Eugene Hughes. I have a passion for making movies. I also have a website, IndieBudgetMovieMaker.com, where I'm devoted to showing you how you don't need a lot of money in order to make quality videos, short films, or your own little indie budget movie. What you do need are the right tools, the right software, and a lot of creativity. Check out the website. I want to share with you what I do to make my own short films. You're going to see a lot of information. You're going to see information on the tools, the software, the techniques. Have any questions, put them below the video. I'll see what I can do to help you out, point you in the right direction. I want to talk to you today about the software that I use to make my short films. Uh, I used to use Windows operating system. I grew tired of it. I love adventure. I also i am cheap. I don't want to spend a lot of money on software. I'm very excited about the Ubuntu operating system. I want to share with you how I use that and all of the programs that I can get 100% for free to, to uh, produce my videos. Okay, so Ubuntu Linux operating system. It's a free open source program, open source operating system. Uh, you can use that to get all the software you'd ever want for free. Uh, you may not get the, uh, the brand names, but you're going to get a lot of uh, good software. Okay, so for video production, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to want to edit your video. Two, you're going to want to edit your sound, do noise removal. Three, where you're going to want to do special effects. You want to do some image editing. Uh, four, you're going to want to do some animation. Animation is going to help you do some special effects. So let's go over uh, what I use, what I recommend. Got information on the website. Now, with Ubuntu Linux uh, installing programs, there's a couple of ways you can install a program. One is through the repositories, and that's built into the operating system. You, you click on uh, the, uh, the Add, so Add Remove Software button inside the operating system, and you install it. Before you install any of the programs I'm suggesting here on Ubuntu Linux, what I do recommend you do is do a little research. Do some Googling. Uh, right now, I'm using the Ubuntu 9.10 Karmic Koala distribution. So uh, if I wanted to install, let's say, the, uh, the, the video editing programs, the two that I recommend, one is Cinelera, two is OpenShot. Now, before I'd install it, I would you know, do a little research, find out how other people have installed it. What are the recommendations for installing that into your operating system? So like Cinelera, Ubuntu 9.10 installation recommendations. You're going to have a lot easier time. If you run into problems as well, go to the Ubuntu forums and ask. There's a lot of people there who, who'd love to help you out. Okay, video editors. Cinelera is a uh, pro quality, uh, high end video editor. Uh, it doesn't have all the little plugins and the like that you find with Adobe and the like, but it's free. Uh, it, it is certainly capable of uh, editing high definition video. Uh, for broadcast quality, so uh, the, it, it's a great tool. It's a very powerful tool. It'll also let you uh, do your sound and uh, 5.1 surround sound, so you're not going to be limited with Cinelera. The second video editing program I recommend is OpenShot. Now, OpenShot is a fairly new video editing program. Um, it's got a lot of people behind it. It's fairly exciting. You're going to see a lot of changes. It's, it's an active development. So I uh, highly recommend you check it out. It is very uh, user friendly. Uh, it's somewhat simple. Uh, that it, 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 it's not really going to constrain it too much. We've got some good transition tools and some good special effects tools. That's why I recommend it. Okay, now for uh, noise removal, for sound editing and the like, I recommend Audacity. Audacity is a free open source package. It is multi-platform. You can get it for Windows. You can get it, I do believe, for, uh, for Mac OS X. And of course, it, it's available for, uh, for Ubuntu Linux. Uh, you can use it for noise removal. You can use it for sound editing, for some uh, sound effects and the like. It's a very powerful tool. Now, for image editing, the GIMP. No, not your sex slave you keep locked up in the closet. 
the GIMP image editor. Uh, it, it's on par with Adobe Photoshop. It has a great following. You can do a lot with the GIMP uh, as far as image editing and retouching for uh, titling, for special effects, and the like. Now, a cousin of the GIMP, Cinepaint. Highly recommend it. I'm just now learning about it. Uh, it used to be called Film GIMP. Now, this here is a painting and image retouching uh, program used for the film industry. Uh, it has been used by some uh, Hollywood uh, heavyweights who've uh, brought us uh, such movies as Spider-Man, Harry Potter, uh, Scooby-Doo, and the like. So it, it, it is used by the, uh, by the big dogs in the, the film industry. Uh, for some special effects for animation, Synfig is a, a free open source uh, program that you can use with Linux. Uh, it does 2D animation. Uh, it is capable of doing uh, feature film quality 2D animation. Look into it. Highly recommended. We're going to have some how-tos and the like on the website to show you some simple animation, how we're going to incorporate that in some special effects. And if you really want to go out there and do 3D animation, Blender is a program that, uh, that works very well under Linux. And uh, I'm just going to give it to you as a, uh, as a suggestion. Uh, it's more advanced than I want to go into. I think I can do everything I need with uh, Synfig, Cinepaint, GIMP, Audacity, OpenShot, and Cinelera. Those are the tools that I recommend. If you've got any questions, ask them underneath the video here. Remember, when you're installing any of these uh, programs uh, under Linux, do some research first. Check into the best way to install it. Make sure you got all your libraries, uh, your dependencies resolved. Uh, you, you'll have a much easier time. Check out the website. Once again, thank you for watching. Come back and see us. And I just want to say a great big thank you to each and every one of you for dropping by today. Now y'all drive careful, come back and see us, and you can always check out our website.